Steve, emotions are high throughout the game, but you must be delighted to get off the season with a win. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, we set out to win the game and uh, we managed to do that, so I'm really, really pleased. How's the mood in the dressing room right now after that? <laughs> I feel like winding me up with the questions, they're, bu they're buzzing, <laughs> they're really happy. Um, yeah, it's uh, you're in football to win games of football and as I said to them at the start of the game, it's over to you guys now. Um, let's see what you can do and um, yeah, they were they were fantastic. There were a lot of decisions in the game which I won't go through all of them, but do you think the, the key decisions were made right with the red cards? Yeah, now they were, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, look, I thought it was a soft one to send Perry off straight after for for what didn't look, look didn't look a great deal wasn't like he was breaking away or anything um, and then uh, yeah I just think the melee itself somehow we they had one booking and we had three yet yeah, ten of their players ran past to cause the melee so it's pretty amazing stuff but um, it's what it is and um, yeah Grant ends up getting sent off as well off the back of it um, so it worked out okay in the end you gave seven players a debut today. Jamal Collins looked particularly impressive down the left. What did you make of his performance and, and all the other guys? Yeah, I thought I thought look, to a man they were excellent. I thought they were they were fantastic. They showed um, everything we've spoke about. People talk about style of play and and and, and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. But the fight and the heart and the spirit that they showed, I think that's that 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 shone brighter than anything today. Um, and yeah, Romain scores a goal out of nothing. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a good day at the office. And finally, you said after the Swindon game, albeit a friendly, that you were on the right path. How big a step down that path do you feel that you've taken today with that performance? Yeah, look, I still, I still, I still believe we're on the right path, and I still believe we're a work in progress. Um, I think um, they had one shot today. Uh, we only had three, um, but we managed to score one. Um, everything about the game was very close. Um, we had that moment; they didn't. Um, and I presume they will. They will want to be better, and we will want to be better as well. So uh, um, we're work in progress. We've won one game. Um, now we need to make sure that we back it up with a performance next week. Thanks so much, Steve. You showed both sides of the game today, didn't you? I think you just alluded to it there. There was a fluidity to your passing early on, but then later on you needed to stand up and fight, didn't you? You're going to need both if you're going to be successful. Yeah, I thought it was. It was like I thought first 15 minutes of the first half. I thought we were in pretty much control and, and we were dominating the game uh, without without creating goal scoring opportunities. Uh, we got in good areas and then I thought the next 15 minutes they they pegged us back a bit and we couldn't, we wasn't getting pressure high enough, high enough up the pitch and then I'd say the last 15 minutes was pretty even and then um, the second half was just obviously there was not a lot in the game really until the sending off um, and obviously they had all the ball and then obviously they get the man sent off and it was even once it went back to even I felt that we was uh, um, we could have scored as well. So, uh, no, nah, you're going to need everything and the blocks and the interceptions, the people putting their body on the line. Um, needs to make sure it doesn't go unnoticed. Um, you said how pleased you were with the progress in pre season, but opening games don't come much difficult from this either. So, this is an acid test for most teams, isn't it? So, where, where do you see yourself now after playing a team that, you know, many people are back in competition? <coughs> yeah, look, it's really. It's really um, it's really easy for us. It's just, it's just the next game. I know it's boring for you guys because you want me to say something that's gonna, that's gonna um, write a story. But ultimately, it's, it's the next game now. It's, it's Reading, and I presume we'll go to Reading now. I don't know how they got on today, but I presume we'll go to Reading. And everyone will think, oh, you've beat Norwich, you should automatically beat Reading, uh, which we know is not going to be the case. Um, we need to dust ourselves down. Monday, we, uh, we, um, we go through the process again and see if we can get a result already next week. And that's and that's and then once you once you're I don't know, we're looking at the next eight we're looking at the first eight games, that's our first block. We know where we want to be after the eight games, we know how many points we want to get after the eight games. Um, and if we get to those we and if we hit that target, um, yeah, we'll be in a, a nice position. I was reading there uh, Romain Sawyers in the in the programme beforehand and he said before he came here he spoke to you and your plan for him was different to where he was at West Brom and that, that was very appealing to him because you wanted him to play higher up the pitch and that's where you saw his best assets and he proved that today, didn't he? Yeah, no, definitely. He's um, he's uh, he's um, just said it earlier, he, he might not like it, he's a bit of a football geek and he loves he loves the game, he loves the, the tactical side, he loves he understands it really, really well. Um, 
he's he's a uh, he's an organizer when he's out there he really does get it and I had to show him exactly what he wanted and he asked me questions that I had to be able to answer them and um, yeah and I showed him exactly what we wanted from him and um, simplifies the game for him and allows him to go and have moments like that and we spoke actually at half time about our two eights didn't get high enough up in the first half to be able to get into the box so we could score a goal so it sounds like he decided to just get the ball a bit further out and just hit it rather than having to run in the box so uh, no it was great for him and uh, um, I thought it was great for the for everyone involved today fans included Give some plays a debut today Steve as well as Shea Ojo coming back so a sort of second debut if you like I mean how difficult I wonder how difficult that is to sort of play so many players in one go obviously we've had pre-season but how difficult has it been sort of for you to sort of mesh them all together um, It's a tough question to answer because Obviously, we, we put a group together that we feel that um, can carry out a certain job, and, and that's what we've put them together. We know we, we looked into their characters, we, we looked into everything, and uh, um, I think you can see you see from them. We see it every day. Um, we knew where we was at internally, and uh, we knew that as long as we we um, didn't freeze on 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 the stage and we didn't we didn't um, let our nerves take over. Um, that we we can play well and uh, yeah, as I said, I was pleased. I knew I knew we could play football. Um, I knew we could play football in a certain way. Um, it's nice that you sh we saw the other side of it of them come out, and that was the uh, that was the big take home from that for me. Any more fellas? Did you when you make that number of changes to the team? Do you is it an element of gamble about it, or you know how? How hard is it to, to, to do what you're trying to do while making these big changes that you're doing? Um, no, I definitely won a gamble. It was um, it was a calculated gamble, if anything. It was, um, as I said, we wanted... I think people people haven't given given it as much thought as they, sh as they sh should have. Um, ultimately, we had a way of we wanted to do things. We had a, uh, a plan. And it was a case of going to get people to, that could carry out the plan to come. Um, and that's why we've signed the players we've signed. Um, and obviously, the tough part is um, once they step out there, for them to make sure they can deal with the pressure and, and carry it out. And um, There's a lot of experience in there. There's a lot of players who've played a lot of championship games, played Premier League games. Um, there's some excellent players out there, and I think they showed that today. I mean, nobody, no one panics after one defeat, no one gets carried away with a victory, but when you're trying to change things around, clearly winning helps everyone sort of buy into it and, and see the progress. Yeah, 100%. It helps. It helps. Um, that was pre-season. People were worrying about who we played against and stuff like that. Like, there's nothing you can do. I'd rather play against... Uh, a couple of League One teams and a League Two team rather than play against a... Well, we couldn't play a Premier League team because we couldn't play any home games. This was our first game. First time most of them have even turned up here. We couldn't do it because the pitch weren't laid because of the, the Wales stuff. Um, got to win games of football. I'd rather come into this game off the back of a 4-2 win than come off the back of a, uh, a couple of losses um, because um, winning's a habit, ultimately. It's a confidence thing. Um, their challenge today was to carry out, carry out what they had done in pre-season against uh, a Norwich City side, which is um, going to be challenging at the top end of the table, and, and they managed to do that today. Uh, as I said, they have to go again next week now. Players on the ground, all right? Did they see? Don't know. I asked them. They got her. They got her on time, so I was happy. I was happy. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.